You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. changing your life with fibromyalgia this is lives changed with your host deborah lundquist through knowledge and prayer deb has learned to live with this difficult and often misdiagnosed disease get spiritual and good practical advice for achieving good health and acceptance while living with fibromyalgia so now please welcome the host of lives changed deborah lundquist Welcome to Life's Changed, a show about fibromyalgia and, as such, other chronic pain. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host, and you're listening to the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I would like to tell you a little bit about myself. In 1999, I had a horrible accident in which I was told I should have died, but God had other plans. I acquired reflex sympathetic dystrophy, or also known as CRPS, which is the worst pain known to man. And when the doctors put that to sleep, we discovered I also have fibromyalgia as well as several other pain and autoimmune diseases. To learn more about me, you can read my bio on the Lives Changed page on the BBM Global Network. All of our radio shows are recorded there as well. So if you want, you can go all the way to show one and listen all the way through. And this this show today will be on by the end of next week. I do need to say I am not a doctor or in the medical field at all, but um <laughs> doctors used to ask me if I was, it was always funny, but I do uh, read a lot and I do quiz the doctors so they say I I know a lot so who knows I will not diagnose you I will not suggest you start or stop any medications I do direct you to doctors that I think would help you I do like audience participation so grab your pen and paper and write things down as you see fit If you have questions, please write those down, and then you can email me at liveschangedradio at gmail.com. Again, that's liveschangedradio at gmail.com. I haven't heard from any of you yet, so if you have any questions, make sure you send them to me. Or you can call in while the show is live, and it's live right now at 866-451-1451. Again, that's 866-451-1451. And if you're on the uh, BBM Global Network page for Lives Changed right now, it's at the top right of your screen. And you can get your questions answered live if time allows. Also, let me give you some other addresses where you can reach me. On Facebook, you can find me on the support group at your, Y-O-U-R, fibromyalgia. And I have a web page called deblundquist.com, and that's my name, dot com. DebLundquist.com. And I even have a fibromyalgia quiz on there, as well as many articles and um, articles for support members as well. So, uh, let's see. Uh, You can also call me personally 
at 815-214-9443. Again, that is 815-214-9443. If I don't answer the phone right away, please leave a message and I will call you back. Um, I am a real person, so I will take your phone calls and I will call you back. And if you have any comments about the show, just scroll down on the BBM Global Network on the Lives Changed page and you can make comments there. First thing I like to do on every show is repeat affirmations out loud. And this is something that you need to do for yourself every single day. I know that they helped me tremendously. And Dr. Lipkin, who was on the show last week, she said she really, really loves these. So it's important for you to write them down so that you can do them Uh, On your own, look in the mirror and look in your eyes and say things to yourself. Uh, Okay, here we go. I am not alone and you are not alone. This disease, I call it a, a disease and not a syndrome, but it affects 5 to 10 million people. And so you could hardly call that alone. I am beautiful, and you are inside and out. You may have just forgotten that. I am loved, and you are very loved. Join the support group, and you will feel so much love, it will overwhelm you. I am needed, and you are so needed. You may not feel needed now, but you're very needed I still have a purpose, and you do have a purpose. If you don't feel like you have a purpose now, just join our support group, and we will help you. I am important, and you are. God placed you on this earth for a reason. You have this disease for a reason. God wants you to use this for a reason. I don't know why. I can't tell you why. I know why I have it. But we need to figure out why you have it. Okay? And then you need to say to yourself, while you're looking in your eyes, you need to say, I love you. Okay, let's do it again. I am not alone. I am beautiful. I am loved. I am needed. I still have a purpose. I do hope you're saying these out loud. I am important. And last but not least... I love you. Okay. Last week was kind of a down week for me. I don't know why, probably because of the weather. November is not my month. I hate November. And the weather was very November-ish. So I was a little depressed myself, but I'm snapping out of it. I don't usually stay depressed very long anymore. I spent time with a support group and working on the web page at uh, deblundquist.com as usual. Now, last week we had doc- Dr. Lipkin on the show, and I hope that you got some good Uh, stuff out of it I thought it was a great show I really like having her on the show and I'm going to try to have her on the show again and then before we get started today I would again like to say a word to those who are still suffering from the hurricanes and the earthquake victims in Mexico and the survivors of the massacre in Las Vegas 
as well as all of the wildfires, not just in California, but all over the place. Um, It's just been horrible. And then there are so many crises everywhere. And I know that people are suffering from pain and loss. Ranchers are losing their herds and Everybody is under stress and pain from circumstances that you're currently living under. And so we're all concerned about you. We want you to know that we're thinking of you and we're praying for you. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host, and you're listening to Lives Changed. And when we come back, we'll start the show. So don't go away. Intergenerational programming is uniting America due to the tireless efforts of Dr. Ramona Frischman. Retired from the Miami-Dade County Public School System, Dr. Frischman continues to develop intergenerational learning programs aimed to improve the lives of children, young adults, and seniors through unique strategies and public policy in order to establish a mutually supportive agenda. She views intergenerational programs as a resource for policymakers and the general public on economic, social, and personal initiatives that govern our society. Her work bridges the generational gap, providing many individuals the opportunity to explore areas of common ground and celebrate each other's diversity. Contact Ramona Frischman at RamonaLong at AOL.com or visit www.gu.org to learn more about intergenerational programming. Hi, my name is Myra Fox, and I am a survivor. I am the founder of the Castle Lewis I Survived Foundation and the author of a series of books entitled I Survived a Murder Untold, which tells the story of my sister and I who were abandoned and left in the care of a woman who beat us repeatedly. Unfortunately, it resulted in the death of my sister, Castle Lewis, which is revealed in a page-to-page chilling story. After spending time in the foster care system, I've documented my suffering and my loss and ultimately my survival. I'm blessed to work daily in my community and surrounding areas to give back by helping others and feeding the homeless. I want to spread awareness of the dangers of abuse. You can purchase my books and contribute to the Castle Lewis I Survive Foundation by visiting www.castlelewis.com or you can call us at 540 999-8401. Thank you. Welcome back to Lives Changed. I just took a drink. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host, and we're going to talk about depression. This has been a hard week for the people on the support group and for me, you know, truthfully. So I got to thinking... I bet this has been a hard week for a lot of you, too. The weather is changing to be more like winter than fall. And uh, I know that that is a hard time for a lot of you. And so we're going to talk about this. It's a tough topic to talk about. But I think that it's probably something that we need to. So depression can creep up on you without you're knowing it. And pretty soon you're staying in bed and blaming it all on exhaustion or even more exhausted than usual with your fibromyalgia. You'll just sit there and stare and not really realize it. You'll stare at the TV and not even know what you're watching. You don't want anybody around you, not even your fur family, you know, your pets. You don't want to answer the phone when it rings. As a matter of fact, you get angry if it rings. The sun doesn't cheer you. Your pain is worse when you're depressed. And you don't even want to leave the house for any reason. You make excuses for not going to your doctor's appointments and you cancel them. You get quiet and you keep to yourself. You don't get out of your pajamas. You don't brush your teeth. You start thinking of all kinds of negative thoughts. You can't even think of one positive thought to counter your negative thoughts. I don't know why this is happening to me. 
I don't know why I have to go through this and no one is willing to help me. I don't know why my doctors won't listen to me. I don't know how anyone can continue to live like this. I'm in constant pain. I'm useless and just a burden to my family. I just don't want to be here anymore. And some thoughts get even deeper than that. So are some of you feeling like that? I know there have been a lot of people feeling like that in the support group. And some thoughts get even deeper than that. So deep, in fact, that many don't want to make it to the next day. And many don't. We have somebody on a starvation diet right now. Such a loss because it is so, so unnecessary, people. I know you're in a lot of pain. I know that you just don't want to go through it anymore. But you know what? There is hope at the end of the cycle. I know there is hope. Don't lose hope. Fibromyalgia is an illness that is created from some form of trouble or illness. It could even come from stress related to abuse that happened in your past that you've buried. Excuse me. That is what I discovered. Of course, I also had an accident. It also follows along with autoimmune diseases, and that is no fault of yours. But if you're feeling what I just said, it's time to see a psychologist, okay? It is not time to end your life. This is not the time. It's never the time to end your life. It's not an option. It is time to see a psychologist or a counselor. There is no shame in seeing a psychologist or counselor for depression. Depression is an illness, just like fibromyalgia. It needs to be treated. Anxiety is also an illness, and it needs to be treated. What can a psychologist do for you? Well, it's called therapy. You do therapy for your body. You need to do therapy for your mind. It doesn't mean that fibromyalgia is in your brain that it all is coming from your brain. It is not. It is real. And I am not saying that you're crazy because you are not. I have been going to a psychologist for 17 years. No, longer than that. Because when I got the RSD, then as soon as I started going to my first real pain doctor, I immediately was put in the hospital. It was in October. I remember that because I spent my birthday in the hospital and I was in the hospital getting a seven day epidural. And the doctor had the psychologist come in to see me. And she put me on a suicide watch. And I looked at her and I said, why? I'm not going to commit suicide. I don't believe in it. God put me on this earth and only God can take me off. She still put me on a suicide watch. And she did twice. And then she had me start writing journals about my thoughts. Well, I did. And then I put them away. Six years later, I got them out and started reading them. Then I could understand why she put me on the suicide watch. And I was told I needed to be seen 
a counselor for the rest of my life because I have so many pain diseases and autoimmune diseases that sometimes they just get to be too much to handle and you need somebody to talk to. That's what they do. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host, and you're listening to Lives Changed. And when we come back, I'm going to talk to you more about this because it's really very important for you to understand. So don't go away. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real-life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Hello, I'm Steve Fagan, and I'm president and CEO of Fagan Associates, but I'm also a life coach. I'm here to help you reach your dreams, goals, and objectives. As a life coach, it's my job to be your support, to be your teammate, to help you understand what is your dream, what is your life passion, and then together we work as that team to help you reach your specific goals. Life is worth living the best you can be. Working with a life coach, you're fulfilling those dreams and goals is your passion, and it's your way of living. Let me help you do that today. Let me help you really reach the best that you can be as a person and live the life you should be living. I'm Steve Fagan. I'm a life coach, and I'm here for you. Contact Steve Fagan at FaganAndAssociatesInc.com or call 1-800-239-2701. And I'll be glad to help you move forward to live the life of success. Reach your dreams, your goals, your objectives. We can do it together. Welcome back to Lives Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host, and we're talking about what psychologists can do for you. So they ask you questions and they get you talking, and sometimes it takes a long time for you to trust a psychologist to actually open up and talk to them because, well, let's face it, there is a lot in your life that you don't want to talk to people about. And uh, there's a lot in your personal life that you don't want to talk to anybody about. And, you know, if your problem stems from past abuse that you've buried deeply, well, you know, something that you've buried pretty deeply that you don't even remember is going to take a long time to come out. So it did take a long time to come out. I started seeing a psychologist 18 years ago, and the abuse that I received, um, they said that I wouldn't have married my first husband had I not been abused earlier. And I looked at her like she had a, she was a cat with two heads, and I so I was like, well, I don't think so. I had a very happy childhood. And she said, well, you're going to have to think about it because you were abused before. You would never have allowed him into your life. Well, that took me, oh, golly, a good six years before I finally had my aha moment. And once I had that, then we started talking about it. And then when I really had my big aha moment, it was over the weekend. And I didn't see her for another week and a half. When I talked to her about it, then um, she told me to write it down. 
that was hard to do. And she wanted me to put it on the DebLundquist.com blog, which I did. And if you don't think that was hard, but then all of a sudden that abuse came flying out of my chest. And I'll tell you, I am a much happier person for it. They will also teach you how to handle your pain. There are so many different ways of doing it. They'll teach you a method of breathing, a way of relaxing, a very, very positive way of thinking that's so helpful, a way of dealing with your everyday activities. They'll talk to you about journaling. And this is where I came up with my ideas. Of course, they're just talking about journaling, how you're thinking about your life and that kind of thing. I use journaling for everything. So, of course, when they talk, uh, when I look back at the journals, like I said, I can see how depressed I was. Um, but suicide is not a subject we like to talk about. And so if you're considering this action, you need to call Suicide Hotline right now or you need to go to the ER and get help. Let me tell you why this is the wrong time to make this decision of suicide. There are so many theories out there right now as to what causes fibromyalgia. But the truth is that we all have one common denominator. And that is that our fright and flight syndrome has been turned on and the switch has never been turned off. That's true in every single one of us. And if they figure out how to turn that switch off, our fibromyalgia and RSD could just vanish. That's right. It could just disappear. And if they could figure that out, why it turned on and why the switch is broken and how to fix it, if you commit suicide, you will be cheating yourself out of a chance of thing, seeing this come to pass. And it could happen in your lifetime. And you would be cheating not only yourself, but your family as well. Do you really want to do that? I know I don't. So stay strong and know that you're not alone. Keep fighting. Go, to, go to Facebook. Look for your Y-O-U-R fibromyalgia and join the support group. And you will find a family that will welcome you with open arms. Then send me a message with your email and I will put you in our database for the support group. And that way, you can get special emails and the newsletter that I send. And you will also get the special inv invitation to an online open house that might change your life. So join the support group so you can get on the online house party. And please... When the show is over, make yourself a note to get an appointment with a psychologist tomorrow. Okay? So now we're going to start talking about hard things to start doing for yourself. We started talking about this two weeks ago, and we didn't get very far. It's written by Mark Chernoff. And it is on markandangel.com. Okay. Started talking about this a couple of weeks ago. If you remember, we were talking about the two explorers that were trying to get to Antarctica. And they both had the same number of t teams. One was from uh, Norway and one was from England. And they were uh, trying to get to the South Pole. And they had two different methods of going. 
One would travel as far as they could on the good days, and then on the bad days, they would rest. And the other one would travel um, 20 miles a day, no matter what the weather was. And even on the warmest days, he would, uh, he would only let his team travel 20 miles. That way, they could conserve their energy for the following day's hike. Now, which team succeeded? The team that took consistent daily action. And why? Because what we do every day defines us. Today's progress is always compounded by yesterday's effort, no matter how small. And it comes down to the power of self-discipline. Think about the most common problems that we deal with in our modern lives. From lack of presence to lack of exercise to unhealthy diets to procrastination and so forth. In most cases, problems like these are not caused by a physical present limitation not by weakness of the mind, specifically a lack of self-discipline. We put the hard things off until tomorrow because the weather is bad, until we've lost our edge. We grow accustomed to the idea that things should be easier than they are and that waiting another day or two will make all the better sense. But the one day we wake up, and we're emotionally incapable of doing the hard things that must be done. Let this be the wake-up call. Your mind and body need to be exercised to gain strength. They need to be challenged. They, and they need to be worked consistently to grow and develop over time. If you haven't pushed yourself in lots of little ways over time, if you always avoid doing the hard things, of course, you'll crumble on the inevitable day that the harder that you expected. And if you had to guess, I'd say Scott's team suffered in exactly that way. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host. You're listening to Lives Changed, and we will be back, so don't go away. Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. 
Welcome to Lives Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host. And we're talking about these two teams that were headed to the South Pole. Scott's team was the one that would walk as much as they could on the good days and they'd rest on the bad days. And of course, they'd lost the race not because of the ground that they covered, but because their minds weren't really in the race. They were waiting for the bad days so that they could rest. So don't follow in their footsteps. Many great things can be done in a day if you don't always make the day tomorrow. Take positive action and plant the right seeds in your life right now. Nature herself does not distinguish between what seeds she receives She grows whatever seeds are planted. This is the way life works. Be mindful of the seeds you plant today, as they will become the crop you harvest tomorrow. So with that principle in mind, I want to share some key daily practices we've seen make all the difference in the lives of hundreds of our coaching clients and course members over the past decade. So, Here we go. Mark says, first, start letting go of unnecessary ideals. When a thought comes to mind, ask yourself if it's helping you grow or holding you back. Take back control. Make the unconscious conscious and let go of what isn't serving you. This form of letting go is not giving up. It's surrendering surrendering any obsessive emotional attachment to particular people, outcomes, and situations. It means showing it up every day in your life with the intention to be your best self and to do the best you know how without expecting life to go a certain way. Have goals, have dreams. Aspire and take purposeful action and build great relationships, but detach from whatever aspect of your life must absolutely look like to be good enough for you. Just accept reality and then respond effectively. Focus on what matters, what moves you forward today and let go of what does not. Now, this is my little side note. Remember that although you have limitations, those limitations do not restrain you from having goals or dreams. They do not stop you from taking purposeful action. Do not push yourself past your limit, but make a goal for every day and meet that goal. You will feel better for it. Every day, set a goal. Now, your goal doesn't have to be huge. It just depends on where you are at in your life, where you are at in your illness. But you need to set a goal. Make it a reasonable goal for you. But you need to set a goal. And then you need to attain that goal that day. And then you need to set a goal for the next day and keep doing that. And you will feel better for having done that. It's possible. You can do it. Now, back to Mark. Start putting your heart and soul into the things that you can do. There's a big difference between empty fatigue and gratifying exhaustion. Life is short. Invest daily in meaningful activities and don't wait around. Too often we wait because we think we need to find something new or different to be passionate about. Passionate about. But that's not true. If we want more passion in your life right now, act accordingly right now. Put your whole heart and soul into the next thing you do. 
not into tomorrow's opportunities, but the opportunity right in front of you. Not into tomorrow's tasks, but today's tasks. Not into into tomorrow's run, but today's run. Not into tomorrow's conversations, but today's conversations. I'm absolutely certain that you have plenty in your life right now that's worth your time, energy, and passion focus. You have people and circumstances in your life that you need as much as you need them. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host, and you're listening to Lives Changed. Now don't go away, because we'll be right back. Psychologist, master certified coach, and CEO of the executive and organizational development firm True North Leadership, Dr. Relly Nadler brings his expertise in emotional intelligence to keynotes, consulting, coaching, and training. He is the author of Leader's Playbook and Leading with Emotional Intelligence that lays out tips and tools for effective leadership. Dr. Nadler has designed multi day executive boot camps for high achievers in Fortune 500 companies and has coached CEOs, presidents, and their staff and developed and delivered innovative leadership programs for such organizations as Anheuser-Busch, BMW, MCI, EDS, DreamWorks Animation, the U.S. Navy, and Vanguard Health Systems. To learn more and get your free iPhone app highlighting his tools with videos, leadership keys, visit www.truenorthleadership.com today. MJ Domit is the owner of Expect to be Empowered, a company whose specialty is empowering people to live their best life by following their heart and accepting themselves unconditionally. After studying and making personal changes, MJ now focuses on giving others tools for self-empowerment. She provides individual and group workshops for people who are physically, emotionally, and spiritually blocked. Inspired by her work at Expect to be Empowered, MJ authored the book Waves of Blue Light, Heal the Heart and Free the Soul with accompanying empowerment cards. She is a Spirit Book of the Year Gold Medal Living Now Book Award winner. And her book is a number one Amazon bestseller in spirituality and was a 2012 gold medal winner recognized as the Living Now Spirit Book of the Year. An inspirational speaker, MJ will show you how you can repurpose every area of your life. Your life did not just happen to you. You chose it, which means you can change it. Visit www.expecttobeempowered.com or call 866-264-8024. Welcome back to Lives Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host. And we're talking about, you know, your daily life and and doing things with your whole heart. You have a massive reservoir of passionate potential within you. Just waiting. Stop waiting. There is no tomorrow. You need to live for today. Put your heart and soul into what you've got right in front of you. Become it. Let it become you. And great things will happen for you, to you, and because of you. And then my little comment is, if you wait until tomorrow to start, it will be even harder for you to start. Don't wait. Your muscles, your negativity will only get worse. Now back to Mark. Start stretching yourself just beyond the edge of comfort. When you're struggling to make progress, that's when you actually are. Let that sink in. It's far wiser to spend an extremely high quality 10 minutes stretching yourself than it is to spend a mediocre hour running comfortably in place. Do you see how that could could be you want to be stretched to the edge of your ability to at least once a day it needs to be a hard and uncomfortable for a little while but most of us don't want to be uncomfortable so we run from the possibility of discomfort constantly the obvious problem with this is that by running from discomfort We are constrained to partake in only the activities and opportunities within our comfort zone. And since our comfort zones 
are relatively small, we miss out on most of life's greatest and healthiest experiences, and we get stuck in a debilitating cycle with our goals. We keep doing what we've always done, and thus, we keep getting the results we've always gotten, and our true potential falls by the wayside. Choose differently. Go to environments that expand your mind. Spend time with people to ins- who inspire you to stretch yourself. Read books. Grow. Get better. Your life is your choice. And so my thought was, start training your mind. Read books on how to do so. Learn how to tear down the box you're living in and stretch your mind as well as your muscles. Okay, back to Mark. Start taking more deep breaths so you can mindfully collect more lessons for the long run. It's incredibly easy to overestimate the significance of a single decision, outcome, or event in the heat of a moment. But you must remind yourself to take a deep breath, then things don't, when things don't go your way. Your results in the long run, good or bad, are always the byproduct of many small decisions, outcomes, and events over time. The truth is, we all fail sometimes. The greater truth is that no single single failure ever defines us. Learn from your mistakes. Learn and grow wiser. Press on. Character and wisdom are sculpted gradually. They come with losses, lessons, and triumphs. They come after doubts, second guesses, and unknowns. The seeds of your success are planted in your past failures. Your best stories will come from overcoming your greatest challenges. Your praises will be birthed from your pains. So keep standing, keep learning, and keep living. And I added, keep journaling. And you know, by now, in my book, I think I have you doing four journals, if you're keeping up with me. (laughs) Okay, now, Mark's number five. Start sidestepping senseless drama. Tune out the cheap shots people don't, people take at you along the way. And I have to learn this too, guys. It's not just you. Don't waste words on people who deserve your silence. Sometimes the most powerful thing that you can say is nothing at all. Boy, do I have to learn that. Seriously, before you waste it on anger, spite, or frustration, think of how precious and irreplaceable your time is today. Give yourself a permanent break from the trauma that can be easily avoided. Just don't engage in it. Life is just too short to argue and fight. Count your blessings. Value the people who matter. And move on from the drama with your head head held high. Remind yourself that calmness is a human superpower. I like that. Remember, remind yourself that calmness is a superpower. We may have to borrow that. The ability to not overreact, to take things personally, keeps your mind clear, your heart at peace, and yourself moving forward. Take constructive criticism seriously, but not personally. Listen to others and then operate with your own intuition and wisdom as your guide. So, I wrote, take an honest look at your life and see what part of the drama you play. Then back your part out of it. Remember, suggestions and guidance from others are only that. Suggestions and guidance. 
Don't let others totally redefine who you are. Remember, you are unique. There is only one person like you, and that is why you are so amazing. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host, and this is Lives Changed. And don't go away, because I still got more. We'll be right back. Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. Global Glory, that's the work of Dr. Marina McLean, COO of Global Glory, whose calling is to serve God. A first-generation British-born Londoner of Jamaican descent, Dr. McLean inherited the hunger for the word from her father, who was a Bible teacher. Growing up, her home was filled with missionaries from the Caribbean islands and America, and she travels the world preaching the gospel. She has a Bachelor of Arts degree in theology and an honorary doctorate of divinity and Christian counseling from Friends International Christian University. Dr. McLean is also a songwriter and recording artist, and her songs are written during summits and conferences in the presence of God. She's recorded three worship albums to date and is in ministry for 28 years alongside her husband, Dr. Rennie McLean, who shares her passion. Visit www.globalglory.org or on Facebook at Global Glory. Call 866-244-5679 and feel the glory. Welcome back to Lives Changed. I'm Deb Lundquist, your host. And now we're going to see what Mark says for six. Start start staying true to your values and convictions. Rejections don't matter in the long run. Accept them and refocus your attention on what does matter. What does matter is how you see yourself. Always make a habit of staying 100% true to your values and convictions, regardless of what others think. Never be ashamed of what feels right. To help you implement this habit, start by listing out five to ten things that are important to you when it comes to building your character and living your life. For example, honesty, reliability, self-respect, self-discipline, compassion, and kindness. I think I would also add loyalty. Having a short list like this to reference will give you an opportunity to consciously invoke and uphold your hand-picked traits and behaviors in place of doing something random simply for the purpose of external validation. Start looking for silver linings, the most powerful weapon against stress and our ability to juice one thought over another. Train your mind to see the good in the truth. Studies have shown that, where is the studies? There, studies have shown that doctors who are put in a positive mood before making a diagnosis consistently experience significant boosts to their intellectual abilities than doctors in a neutral state. I'm going to have to finish this next week because the show has come to an end. 
But I would like to say thank you so much for coming today. I really appreciate it, and I hope you got something out of the show. If you have comments, you can put them on the Lives Changed page on the BBM Global Network. And if you're on that page right now, all you have to do is scroll down, and there's a space for comments there. If you have comments or questions that you'd like to talk to me about, then please Send them to liveschangedradio at gmail.com. And if you'd like to talk to me one-on-one about them, then you can also call me on the phone that I say uh, gave you at the top. And um, you can also reach me on Facebook on the support group page, your Y-O-U-R fibromyalgia. You can message me there with your question as well. I also have the webpage deblundquist.com. The show is on every Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Pacific Time. I want you to remember that you're stronger than you think, and I want you to fight on. You are amazing. You are unique. Don't give up on yourself. It isn't worth it. If you're in trouble, call Suicide Hotline or 911. But don't give up. I am Deb Lundquist, your host. Come back next week. This is Lives Changed, and thank you for being here tonight. You've been listening to Lives Changed with host Deborah Lundquist. Find out each week how Deb can educate, guide, and help you get through the daily challenges of living with fibromyalgia on Deb Lundquist's Lives Changed. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.